Welcome to a breaking episode of SpaceX in the News. My name's Kevin, and today we're just focusing on the aborted launch of CRS-18 and the failed launch of Starhopper. Let's get started. All right, so this is just gonna be an informal thing. I have more topics I could talk about with SpaceX, but I'm gonna save those for our next episode that's gonna be released on Saturday morning. Tonight is just about the two SpaceX launches that were aborted. The first is CRS-18, the resupply mission to the International Space Station. That was just aborted due to the weather. It was only given a 30% probability to fly anyway, and SpaceX scrubbed the launch at T minus 29 seconds. They're gonna reattempt the same launch tomorrow, which is Thursday at 6.01 p.m. Eastern time. And again, I'll be streaming that launch here on my channel. Now, the other breaking news is that SpaceX also attempted to launch Starhopper off the ground for the very first time. It was an untethered test, and it was supposed to rise to an altitude of 20 meters, hover, transverse a little bit sideways, and then land back on the pad. But right after Starhopper lit its single Raptor engine, the plume disappeared for the most part, but then started rising up the side of the vehicle. But it seems as though the issue was minor and the problem was remedied, because soon after SpaceX stopped their live stream, they started filling Hopper back up with fuel with the intention to launch. But once again, it was scrubbed. There's also a rumor that Starhopper could launch sometime after the CRS-18 mission. And if SpaceX streams it again, we'll be sure to cover that here as well. Until that time, thank you so much for watching, and Godspeed.